Hey guys, there racing fan 24042 here back from our video and I'm gonna be continuing with the NASCAR Heat 3 2019 championship mode. As you can see here the point standings. Joe Logano's in first, Martin Truex Jr. second, I'm in third, Kurt Busch fourth, Kevin Harvick fifth, Austin Dillon sixth, Chase Elliott seventh, Kyle Larson eighth, Ryan Blaney ninth, and Kyle Busch tenth. So the next race here is going to be the STP 500 at Martinsville, and this could be uh, this could be an interesting race. Let's just see what will happen here. Let's get into it, guys. The STP 500 at Martinsville is gonna get underway here. Let's do this. And here we are here at Martinsville for the running of the STP 500. I'm gonna put my setup to four balanced. See how that will turn out with the setup. I'm gonna go to qualifying here. To Let's here. do this. Oh, I almost hit the barriers there. Let's see what qualifying position I will get for this race. Here we go. Coming up into the last two corners, I hit the wall out coming out of two. I, and I'm pretty sure my qualifying position I will get for this race will be 19th. No, actually 20 if I was one off. But it was really obvious. I always get like either 17th, 19th, or 18th. I always get through those positions. But this time I got 20th. Who got the pole? Chase Elliott. Yay. <sighs> Alright. And Cody Ware somehow got 11th. Okay. Alright, let's do this. The STP 500 at Martinsville Speedway. Chase Elliott. This, this team is training. It's really paying off. Cody Ware. Look for this car to take the lead early. Paul Menard failed. Technical inspection. And that's it. Alright, let's do this. Gonna be starting 19th then. Here we go. Almost ready. The sixth race of the NASCAR Heat 3 2019 Championship Mode is underway here in Martinsville. Green flags in the air. Hard on the outside. Draw clear up top. Car high. Careful now. Easy. Alright, clear outside. As we're gonna lead the first lap, I got really sideways coming off of turn two. Whoa, and Blaney tried to block me, or at least tried to go into the inside lane, and I almost spun him. Alright, so I gained only one position from the first lap. This might be an interesting race here, guys. Gonna try not to rack many times. Oh, and here comes Busher on the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna have to break and accelerate a lot too. But I'm gonna try not to break very late. As I, as I just did that right there. Coming into turn three. Yeah, this track isn't one of my favorites. I mean, like, I don't hate it. But it isn't one of my favorites. Not because of the online. But it's just in general... It, it isn't really of my favorites. Again, I, I, I mean, like, I don't hate the track. I kind of like a challenge, but yeah, it isn't one of my favorite tracks. Alright, up to 15th place here. Stop myself with Kurt Busch. Uh, I tried going underneath Stenhouse. Oh! I tried going underneath Stenhouse, but that didn't work, and Kurt Busch is sideways. I have not cleared Kurt Busch. Now I'm side by side with Stenhouse, gonna go on the bottom of Newman here. Let's see what the inside lane has for me. Well, I definitely did pass Newman on the inside. So far, I haven't really been in the inside that much mainly been on the outside. I'm still kind of surprised how Cody Ware is in the top 10. I mean, like, what? How is he in the top 10 here? Shouldn't he be far in the back? Unless he is, like, a, a short track expert, then it would make sense. And I almost spun Denny Hammond right there as he got into Cody Ware. And I think Ricky Stenhouse got a bit sideways, too. 
Oh, and I'm gonna hit the wall. And Stenhouse is gonna pass me. What happened to Newman? He fell back two positions after I passed him. Well, it isn't looking good for me now. I'm dropping spots here. Whoa. Okay, Kirk Bush. Dropping that back to 14. Denny Hammond tried to look inside of um, Cody Ware. That's I'm gonna be really sideways. Newman got into me and that is gonna add damage to my hood. Eh, it isn't that bad. Oh, sideways. Logano and Blaney are gonna pass me. Okay, not yet. Oh, and Austin Dillon's right behind me. It isn't that much damage. I just gained more damage from hitting the inside wall and the back straight away. I don't know if either if I'm loose or if I'm tight. I'm like I'm kind of tight entering the corners, but I'm very loose coming out of the corner. And it might be because of the. May I caution just please come out? Thank you. Took a while. Oh no, that's gonna add more damage to me. No! Alright. Not gonna pit, gonna start 19. First caution came out, and yeah, all me. Because of those bumps in the turns. Is that really supposed to happen in, in real life? I don't think it's supposed to happen. Every time you get into a bump, you just automatically spin out. I don't think that's supposed to happen. And I'm in the grass now. Great. And I'm my bad, I'm all, and I'm turned. Yeah, that happened. Now I'm gonna pit because I have arrow damage. Great. Boy, this is a short track. I shouldn't even be worrying about arrow damage. God dang it. Oh well. I did it anyway, so whatever. I'm gonna have to pick up spots once again. Green facts in the air again. 13 laps to go. Not even crossing the start finish right now. It's already sideways. <sighs> After this race, I'm pretty sure it might drop me back a few positions in the point standings. Not doing really good right now. Whoa. Okay, Joey Gates got into me and made me go really high up the track. How is William Byron back here? William Byron and Brad Kostowski are back here, but Cody Ware is up front over there. Inside the top 10. How does all, how does all this make sense? I would at least understand Brad Kostowski being up up in front because he's been good in Martinsville the last few times, but he's actually back here. And then Cody Ware inside the top ten. How does this make sense? Alright. Gaining positions, I think I gained 10 positions from the last restart. I think. Now I'm passing Joey Logano. Wait, wasn't Joey Logano inside the top 15? Hmm. Oh, now Cody Ware is in 19th. How? Okay. Alright. Whatever. And I just made contact with him. Alright, how many laps to go? Seven. Alright. Um, catching up to Newman, Truex, and Blaney here. Uh, let's see if I can try to pass him on the outside. Alright, I passed Newman. Now I've cleared him. Oh, my bad, Truex. Alright. Oh, someone's smoking. You guys see that smoke? Someone's smoking. Someone blew an engine. Wait, is that guy on pit road? It's William Byron. William Byron blew an engine. 
How did the car should not come out? Okay, that just happened. Our first car to build an engine in this race. Alright. Is he either out of the race? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's out of the race. He's in this pit box. I don't think he's coming back. Four laps to go in stage one. Might as well get a top 15 finish. If I can even get to 15th. Yeah, if I can even get to 15 while not spinning out. Well, three laps to go. Might as well get a top 20 finish. Also, how did Truex and Newman get past Blaney? Hmm. Oh well, two laps to go. And just trying to pass Newman here, but he keeps going to the inside and he just saved it. Now I would expect, yeah, yellow damage on my hood. I would expect that. Final lap, can you, can you just get out of the way? Oh well, 18th it is if Newman doesn't keep being flipping blocker. Oh, wait, will that actually work? Oh, that did actually work. Yeah, I got 17th. <laughs> Take that, Newman. Wow. Alright, 17th place here at stage 1. Everybody's pitting. Wait. I'm not gonna pit since I already pitted. Yes, and that's gonna send me all the way to first. Let's go. But wouldn't that mean that I'm gonna have to pit too? Yeah, maybe gonna have to wait for a caution here. Yeah, 27, then 30. Yeah, not gonna have enough for to finish the stage. But if a caution comes out, then I will be really lucky. And that's when I will take my decision to pit. Alright, so the first time I'm gonna be leading laps. No, don't you dare, boy. Don't you dare. Yeah, yeah, I let the lap. Yeah. What the heck? What the heck? Chase Elliott, you just spun me in. <laughs> you just spun me in Boyer. What the heck, Chase? <laughs> Chase just literally spun me and Boyer out. Oh, well, that's when I decide to pit. Wow. Okay, I did not expect that. Okay. Alright, coming to the green. Um, well Alright, let's go. <laughs> what just happened? Come on. What the Can this car just stop Yellow being flipping? Um, excuse me? Why did the caution come out? Did the caution come out literally for me just hitting the wall? Just for being talentless. Wow. Wow, Brian fan friends. Yeah, Brian fans. Alright, coming to the green. Be ready here. No, it's not Brian fans because you ain't got any fans. That's what I get for trying to go in between two cars, and it's just a mess here. It's just being a mess. It's just a flat out mess. Yeah, I pit it because arrow damage. Yep. <sighs> and let's just go. And green flag in the air once again. How many laps go is it to stage two ends? Can this car just stop being flipping sideways? Seriously, god dang! Not even not even going through the start finish, and this car is already way too sideways off the corner. Can you stop? Nick, stage one was literally good. It was decent. It was decent. Then stage two, then just a mess. Is it a bit strange that almost like half of these races, stage one is really good, but then stage two is just a mess? Isn't that kind of weird? Hmm. Whoa. 
All right, since this is stage two, might as well go and crank it up, even though I might wreck doing crank it up, but who cares, whatever. Alright, so crank it up's over, five laps to go on stage two. And I had a pretty tough time to pass Kasowski. Now I'm just passing Devantet on Reagan really easily. I almost even spun out my favorite driver. Oof, me. Alright, four to go, catching up to Blaine here. Let's see if I can at least get a top 20. Going all the way from what 35th or 37th all the way to 20th, that would be nice. Clear outside. Pretty sure I'm not gonna go get the win here. I was really close to getting it an auto kill, but you know what happens. And yeah, um, um I'm gonna hit the wall again. Got plenty of damage on my hood, but not a lot, and Blaney is just going to get on my inside and flipping, yeah. And the caution doesn't come out at that moment. Great. Doesn't, doesn't, it just doesn't come out. It did not come out when I heavily hit the wall before. But the caution, the caution comes out right after I just gently hit the wall after, after being sideways. And the restart. 
Really, Brian Franz? Well, white flag. Definitely not getting the top 20 now. But a top 21 could be good. Oh, and someone else is smoking. Still there. No points that day. Oh, Just I got 21st. Right. Yay. Alright, who's that one smoking? Looks like to be Cody Ware. I don't know. Everybody's pitting. I'm gonna pit too. It's to be on the same um, pit fuel or fuel. That right, fuel or whatever green. as the other AI, Red. so yeah. Red. Green facts in the air, we're on the way here at stage three. And I still wanna figure out who was that smoking at the end of stage two. Wait, did that say fifty eight laps to go? Oof. Oh wow. Okay. Is this like the first time we're doing a hundred or so laps? I know in the day 2500 we did a hundred laps because I had it at 50%, but this is 25%. So we're doing 125. Wow. Well, I mean, I get it, it's a short track. The shorter the track, the more laps there will be. Oh, and there's Boyer, the guy that uh, got involved in that wreck that I was in when I was in front. Now I'm just gaining spots. Getting into the top 15. Now I'm almost, now I'm very close to being in the top 10. And Truex, why did you go all the way to the bottom? Why? Whoa, Boyer, not see you there. 12th place, literally having a good battle right here for 11th place or maybe for the top 10, I don't know. Um, oh, 54 laps to go. Yep, this is gonna take a while. Or maybe not, I don't know. Since it takes like literally 20 seconds to complete a lap, then it should be good. We should be good to go. 53 to go. I don't know why I just said that, but at least it gained me a position. <laughs> I have no idea what I just did that. Literally just dive bombing Kyle Larson and Clint Boyer. Just wow. Now, here we go for the top 10, and I don't know why I'm doing the same thing as I did last lap. Wow, I literally get in the top 10 and get kicked right back. That's what I get for dive bombing. Oh, who's that? Brendan Gaunt sitting in the middle of the track and he just collected Larson. Oh, goodness, okay. That just happened. Um, isn't the caution gonna come out? Um, hello? Wait, uh, there's another car sitting in the middle of the track. That's Menard. What? Did they run out of fuel? Um, okay. Oh, now the caution comes out. Now the caution comes out. Now the Okay, so that just happened. Not gonna pit, but literally Brendan gone and Paul Menard were just sitting in the middle of the track. Did they run out of fuel? Okay. I don't, I don't think they ran out of fuel. Oh, wait, they did. Because I remember after I pitted, at, at the end of stage two, I lost like two positions. So it must have been Brendan Gaughan and Paul Minar in the front this whole entire time, and then they just ran out of fuel. Makes sense now. But anyways, into the top eight. 46 laps to go. Oh, just in the back of Daniel Suarez, my bad. And uh, again, dive bomb. Can I just stop? Can I just stop doing that? Can I just like realistically get on the brake? Yeah, and if I realistically get on the brake, the ARs are just gonna get into me. Oh well. Oh, Brendan gone out of the race. Where's Palm Nerd? Nowhere to be found. And I almost spun out right there. Alright, that costed me one spot, but okay. 
Jane dropped up into seventh place here. 43 laps to go. Oh wait, I think Pominar is still in the race because when the cautions came out, he was still in the track. After I went another way, another lap around, Brendan God wasn't in the turn three and four anymore, so he must have been out of the race already. All right, so Pominar, I think he's still in the race. I just hit the wall. Why am I talking like this? I have no idea. Alright, I still want to get into the top five. It's Bowman, Johnson, Harvick, and other two guys. I don't know. Did that? What? Whatever. Catching up right there. I am right there on Bowman's bumper, and I still cannot pass him. 40 laps to go. I did a clean dive bomb until we made contact, but that was sort of a clean dive bomb. Whoa. Getting into the bumper of Jimmy Johnson several times here. Can I do another clean dive bomb? Okay, that was a dive bomb, but I wasn't able to pass him. Oh, I think I see that traffic up ahead. This could come into play. Oh, come on, Jimmy. Come on. I want to win the race. I want to rebound from Auto Club. I literally had that race won, but Kyle Busch messed it all up. Uh, I don't even know if it was Kyle Busch or me. Probably both. Johnson just got sideways. Bowman right behind us. 37 laps to go. Come on, Jimmy. It's just for one spot. You're still going to be in the top five. Come on. Come on. Ah. I don't even I didn't even see how many laps to go there was. Oof. Yep, there's definitely lap traffic in the way. And by the lap traffic we're actually catching up to Harvick here. I could catch up to Harvick even faster okay, if I, I, Johnson wasn't there. holding me up. Why is it so tough for me to pass my favorite drivers? Alright, finally. Now I caught up to Kevin Harvick. Well, Johnson did too, but I did. I caught up to him first. And gonna try to pass Harvick. Thanks to the lap traffic here. Gonna go three wide in the middle. Oh, hello, Harvick. Gonna take third away from Harvick, at least not quite yet. I am cleared, but mm, I could mess up. Like right there. Yep. Ah. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I mean, like, why is stage one always really good and then stage two? It's just literally a mess, and then stage three is back to being really good. I don't get it. It's been happening to me for several races now. I don't even get it. Whoa, okay. Parker Kligerman broke too. Too, a little bit too much and a little bit too late, I think. Yeah. Catching up to Chase Elliott here and then Kirk Bush is up in front. Two seconds in front. Oh, I see him, I see him. He's side by side with Corey Joy. I swear, the caution comes out just for that. Oh, it didn't. Okay. I just saw some smoke coming out of Ryan Priest. I think it was just for him getting sideways. And I lost a ton of ground between me and Chase Elliott. Why do I always get so high up the track every time I just tap the bump on the corner. Whoa, Harvick, okay. Harvick, okay. Harvick, okay. 
Whoa, Harvick, okay. Going back into third. Kevin Harvick. How many laps? 28 laps, okay. Oof. Oh, caution's out, and how am I not ahead of Harvick? Okay, so apparently I cannot figure out who was the cost of the caution because almost everybody's spinning. Oh, William Byron and Brandon Gone are 74 and 26 up down. Oh, wait, nope, I'm gonna pit. Gonna pit. And I lost! Why does this always need to happen? Alright, you're coming to the green. Uh, here. Green oh, well. Green gonna have to pick all the way up to. Uh, Whatever, whatever, whatever. Bottom lane is clear. You did a pit. I don't even care. I'm eager for a win. I'm eager for a win. I'm not even. I don't even care if I die from right now. I don't even care. Gonna get all my way back to top five once again. I don't even care if I die from. I don't even care if I cause a wreck. I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't even care. Alright, up to the top 15 and... Well, oof, me. Oh, how did Hammond save that car? How did he save it? Okay. Can I save it, please? God dang it, Hammond. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Not gonna pit because arrow damage doesn't even doesn't even uh, doesn't even matter if you got arrow damage or not. I hope it doesn't matter. Let's go. Yeah, whatever. I don't care if the arrow um, sign is right there. Twenty laps to go. I can do this. I can do this if I don't mess up. I can do this. I can do this if the car doesn't get way too sideways. If I don't get into the bumps. If I don't wreck myself. If a car, if a gold car doesn't put me into the bumps and spin me around, then I'm good. Alright, three wide with Austin Dillon and Kyle Busch. I just cleared both into the top ten. I'm very eager for a win. I don't even care if I get second. I, I'm eager for a win. 18 to go. I don't even know why I'm this eager. Oh, Bowman, save it. Oh, nope, he didn't, and there he goes. Caution. And the caution's out. My bad, Bowman, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. So yeah, the arrow damage doesn't really work here in Martinsville. So we won't really be that much slower Water than the other cars. The oh okay, well. Green flag in the air. I'm sorry, Bowman, but... Yeah, I didn't really have to do it. How is Bu how is Chris Busher up here? How is Chris Busher up here? And I'm spinning out of control. Thank you, Boyer and Dylan, for saving me. Just because I I just because I congratulated you for saving me doesn't mean that you have to pass me. Oof. Oh, man, that was my bad, and my bad, and my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, drop that thing to knife. I really need to chill. I really do need to chill. Ugh, I need to chill! Ugh. Just calm down. Just, you, you gotta win. S clean. And smooth. Oh, it's 10 laps to go. Not forget all I just said. No. Well, I just wrecked someone. I just wrecked Boyer. Yeah, I, do I really need to chill? Yeah, I gotta chill. Gotta chill. I'm still in ninth place. I'm eager for a win, but I don't want to wreck other AIs just to win. I want to race cleanly, even though I've been li literally not racing clean. Seven to go. Come on. 
We just got seven laps here at Marsville, and I'm here in the top ten. I can literally do this when the cars are all bunched up. Oh, and there's three wide behind me. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Six steps to go. Dang it, I got way up high after trying to just keep it in the bottom so that Hammond doesn't pass me, but he didn't even pass me anyway. Come on. Okay, now I don't even care if I get the win. I just want a top five. I just want a top five. Did you listen to me, Hammond? I want a top five. I don't think you listen to Lamarola. I want a top five. Is it that hard to ask for a top five here? And I'm smoking. So I'm starting to smoke. I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't even care if I'm literally not able to race. I just want a top five. Is that just too hard to ask for a top five? Yep, I think it's too hard to ask. Not gonna pit. Not gonna pit. Now I just want a top 10. Now I just want a top 10. Can I just please? Can I just... Can I just please? I don't want to be a one-hit wonder. I don't want to be a one-hit wonder. Two laps to go. Yeah, enough time for me to at least get a top 10. Come here, bushy bushy. Come here, Bushy. I want that top 10. Come here, Bushy. Final lap, I don't even care. Okay. I don't even care what you guys tell me in the comments. I don't even care. I just want a top 10. And that's just too hard to ask for a top 10 when you have it at high difficulty. Well, Kurt Busch just won, and I'm going to get a top 7. E8. Yeah. And true expense across the start finish line. Oh, nice 360. That was a sweet 360 by Truex. Wow. Why am I racing like this? I just, I, since Martinsville isn't really one of my favorite tracks, then I just had to be this way. I just had to be this way. I mean, like, I'm not really good. I just want to, I would just want to talk. I saw that finish so I could stay in third. I'm pretty sure, um, Kurt Busch took over the lead and uh, the point standing since he just won the race because I remember that he's in second in the point standings before the race started so I think he's still in first I don't even know where Joey finished uh, he finished out of the top 10 finishing 18 yeah that's gonna cost him that's gonna cost him some few points so Kurt Busch won the race congratulations to Kurt Busch Chase Elliott second Kevin Harvick third, Kyle Larson fourth, and I don't even, I didn't even know who got, um, fifth. Chris Buescher. I knew it. Kurt Busch took over the points lead, and Martin Truex Jr. now in second. Uh, wasn't he even, like, in fourth? All right. Kurt Busch in first with one win, Martin Truex Jr. second, Joey Logano third with one win, I'm in fourth with one win, Kevin Harvick fifth with no wins, Chase Elliott sixth with one win, Chase Elliott, I mean, Kyle Larson seventh, Kyle Busch eighth, Austin Dillon ninth, and Ryan Rainey tenth. All right. Um, I got the fastest lap, 19.449. Chase Elliott did the most laps with 85 laps. Kurt Busch was on the move, who started 17th and finished first. Okay. And Clint Boyer had a tough break, who started second and finished 19th. Alright. Um, this, I knew it was going to be an interesting race. Um, I was literally thinking stage three was going to be really good since it's almost the same for almost every race but no um it just ended up being like auto club having to choke on the last second even though i got a top 10 but still could finish better if i did not wreck myself in a few laps 
Oh, well, the next race here is going to be at Texas for the O'Reilly Auto Parts 500. I'm pretty sure I could be good at Texas. I mean, like, I've done good at Texas to, on, in on 9. It's pretty much one of my favorite tracks. So, yeah, let's just see what will happen in that in the next race. But that will be for the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope everyone enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Near Racing Fan 24042 here. And see you guys later.